order to figure out what is going on with the brake rotors, you have to attach a dial indicator to the strut in this case, aim it at the brake rotor surface, indicate a zero, and give it the spin. So we have a zero at approximately this position. We go through a 360 degree and observe the needle of the indicator moving into the red zone. So in this case, this rotor has a run out of about three thousandths of an inch, which I think is unacceptable. And I'm guessing that is the reason for the complaint. So we'll do a close up on the indicator. In any case, here is a zero. That's one, two, three. So that tells me everything that I need to know. So this rotor is dead, made in Germany, but didn't really last a whole lot. So I have a, a new brake rotor on, have a zero at this spot, goes to about one. And then comes to a zero again. So this rotor runs out about 1000. That's a zero. That's about one. And then back to zero. So now I'm really curious to check the hub itself, see what that shows. So I have attached my indicator to um, the brake caliper ears or whatever they are, mounting ears. We'll go through a 360. Here we have about half a thousand or less. Tank is difficult to rotate. So an XI, so there is a an axle. And it's less than a thousand. So this hub is perfect. Okay, so I have I'm done with my measurements. What's left is to I don't know clean the rest of this maybe. Should I paint the brake caliper or just leave it be? Everything is so dusty.